When most people start tackling a thriller and building it from the ground up, the smarter approach in order to really wrangle such a giant idea is to come at it from the antagonist point of view first, believe it or not. Usually smart thrillers are antagonist led, meaning they're the ones who are up to something, they're up to no good. And they're the ones with a giant secret to hide, but they're usually also wildly narcissistic. And so they love to kind of brag or in the very first act, talk about what they're up to. So it's a, it's a very different way of coming at a story. Usually when you're working on mysteries or other types of movies, your character doesn't find out something till the very end. The other thing that's interesting about thrillers is they usually have a character who would not have normally been in that situation. If they hadn't opened that door, clicked on that file, talk to that friend, they would have gone on with their lives as if nothing had changed and they wouldn't have ever found themselves in this ridiculously scary and relentless situation. So you need to come at the story from somebody who is literally an everyman stumbling into a situation that they hadn't expected in five minutes before their life was totally different. Um, which again is, is very unusual for a movie. Usually you want somebody who knows the world and that's part of the setup is here I am, I'm an expert at it, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. In a good thriller, the character who is your lead, who you are emotionally invested in, they generally have um, not only an emotional stake to get to the bottom of things and to uncover and to peel away and find out what's really going on, um, they also have something inside them that they need to work through that this situation is absolutely challenging beyond any other type of genre. More than most, actually, because... In general, that antagonist who's leading the movie knows or figures out so much about their their foe, our protagonist, who figure it out early on and they use it like a cat and a mouse to mess with the character. So it continually challenges the protagonist, whether it's a young child that is sick at home and the antagonist is going to use that, whether it's a drinking problem that they've been sober for years and they're going to now be in a situation where they're going to have to get sick in order to solve something, um, whether they've been ethically dubious in the past and they've cleaned up their act and in order to again bring down the bad guy they're going to have to do something completely shady and, and untoward. Whatever the case is, the, they're going to be put in a position that challenges the deep, deep soul that they thought that they'd close that door on. You're never going to find any peace. Not till you admit to yourself who you really are. So your antagonist loves that. They can't wait to put them through that because what a perfect place to hopefully make them crumble. And that's, that's the cornerstone of how that dynamic in a thriller continually works and they can, you know, to use the development phrase, it ups the stakes, but it, it, it absolutely does. In a perfect world, you've put your protagonist into such a situation that is their worst nightmare.